Thank you for joining me for day two of this week's Draw Along show. Today we're going to have a special fall themed show because it is fall, it is autumn, at least where I live. So we're going to do some drawing based on that. Yesterday we did a little bit of drawing around that theme as well. Today's drawing is kind of a follow up to yesterday's drawing, a little bit of storytelling going on there. Anyway, I hope everybody is doing well. Uh, say hi to some folks in the uh, chat. I see that we have folks joining us from all over the place here. Uh, let's see, we have Richard and Ramon, nice to see you, and Ariana, hello, RB, uh, Harkira, nice to see you as well, and Sam, hello, did I say hi to Steven? I hope so, I hope you guys are all doing well, and thanks for joining me today. Um, we are going to get started here very soon, I just wanted to uh, ask if any of you had read that really romantic story about the two autumn leaves, you know that one about them falling for each other? Well, it's time to get to some drawing, so let's do it. Alrighty, here we go. Now, you are going to need a pen, a pencil, a stick of some kind, you know, preferably one of those big heavy sticks that falls after a rainstorm that you can just dip in some mud and then draw all over your living room walls with. That could work. It doesn't matter what you draw with, I don't mind. Uh, but don't tell your parents I suggested the stick. Okay, thank you. Now, to do these drawings, you're gonna be able to have to uh, do some, some very simple things, and there are three of them. A straight line. Okay, can you do that? A straight line? Does it have to be perfectly straight? No, don't worry about that. A zigzag. Okay, the zigzag line. And a curvilinear line. See that? Could go that way. Could go that way. C curve, S curve. You get the idea. All right, now, why don't we get started with a little bit of drawing. I hope you have your pen and paper, or pencil, or marker, or crayon, whatever it is, ready to go. And we're gonna kick it off with a, um, a nice straight line. Are you ready? Now watch this line. It's going to be at an angle. So I'm going to draw it like this. Up, 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 like that. How long do you think that might be on your page? Well, let's see. If you're drawing on paper, I would say you could make that line about, hmm, an inch and a half to two inches long. I think that'll give you about the right size. Okay. How long is that in centimeters? Anybody know? Well, an inch is about two and a half centimeters, or 2.25, or something along those lines. So, I don't know, four or five centimeters? All right, math wasn't my strong suit. Here we go. We're gonna continue with a right angle, like so. I've got a right angle there. You know that old joke, never argue with a 90 degree angle because they're always right. And then we're gonna follow down the same way here only a little shorter. See that? I didn't come all the way down as far as this one. I left it just a hair shorter. Okay. Now, next step. I'm going to do something approximating, getting close to a right angle, rather approaching a right angle, but not quite. A little more obtuse. All right, so watch this. It's going to come down this way. How long is it? Well, it's going to be the same length as this line, only it's coming down that away. Boop. Like so. Okay, now I'm going to do another line coming from here. I'm just, just creep in a little bit on this line starting from here. And I'm not going to mirror this angle. No, no. In fact, I'm going to come out more of a right angle this time, this way. Okay, watch. Out we go. We stop about there. Okay, now all I have to do is connect these two like that. While I'm over here in this area, I'm going and I'm going to go ahead and add another uh, line right here. And this one's going to be coming out slightly more in this direction here. Check it out. Whoop, like so. And you notice I didn't draw it quite as long as that line. And now I'm going to connect these two like that. Hmm. I wonder what we're drawing. It's a mystery, right? How mysterious. Okay, now, I want you to creep along inside this line here. Come right about to this point, and we're gonna draw a line 
basically horizontal on our page. Okay, so it's going to be coming out just like that. Check it out. About like that. Alrighty. Now, if you look at this angle we have here, okay, this line right here, I want you to imagine that, that line is going to continue, but it's going to then make an abrupt C curve up to here. Check it out. I'm going to carry along the same angle for a while. I'm going to pause here, pick up my stylus or my pencil or my pen, whatever, and then abrupt C curve to there. So we came down the same way, abrupt C curve to there. And now we are going to do something fun. Now this requires some careful work, so I want you to come and follow along slowly. I'm gonna zoom in here so you can really see what I do. First step, I'm creeping up this way a little, and I'm going to do a sort of sideways V shape. This is one of our handy dandy zigzags, okay? And it's gonna look like this. I'm gonna come up a little ways, like that, and then out this way. See that? So up and out. Now look how small that is compared to everything else. Let's see about the spacing here. Okay, and see if you can kind of get that about the same. Now I'm going to give myself a little bit of room. Okay, a little space. I'm going to leave some space. And then I'm going to do another really tiny zigzag. Watch this. It's going to come up that way and back that way. See that? So we have one big zag, uh, zigzag here and another one right here, a little tiny one. Okay. So take a look at how those are stacked and see if you can kind of match that for yourselves. Alrighty, now I'm going to draw a straight line and this angle is going to be the same as this more or less, okay? Check it out. Actually, it's gonna be a little less, a uh, little less so coming this way a little more up, but just check it out and watch for the length of this one. Up and stop. All right, so it's just a hair longer than this line here, just a hair. All right, now imagine that this little line here, okay, this one that's, I'm gonna pass through it. See this little line I'm passing through right now? Imagine that that line just keeps on going and there's a little bit of space and then I just do that. See that, it just keeps on going, a little bit of space and bam, there it is. Okie dokie, and now comes the really fun part. Are you ready for some scribbling? Check this out. I am gonna just scribble and go in all different kinds of directions. See this? Scribbling with little wavy lines back and forth and looping around and around and around like this. See that? Scoopity boopity boopity. Scribble to your heart's content. Isn't that a good time? Alrighty, so what did we do? We drew a little person there, a little face. How about that? How about that? That's so fun. Okay, now here comes the hand, and this is so fun. We're gonna come straight out from this same angle. We're gonna go out and up. See that little C curve at the end? So we go up and curve it out. And then we just go uno, dos, trace, a little longer there, Uno dos tres, see the spacing we have? And then check this out. From here, I'm gonna come up and out with a C curve. Watch this, up and out. And there is a big open hand. Next, from here, we come out. Right angle, same width as this line here, and back, just like that. And guess what we're doing next? Yep another hand, only this time we're reversing the direction. So I start with C curve out, okay? And then one, two, three, and here comes that pinky on down like so. Fantastico, all right. What do you think so far, gang? Okay, now we gotta get these legs in, don't we? So check this out. I'm gonna start, see where this little change in direction is here, I'm gonna go C curve down. Okay, now look how big that is, All right? That's about the right length you want, okay? Now I'm gonna make a little dot, see this? I'm gonna put a little dot right here around the center of that C curve, I'm gonna scoot on down this way. 
Why do I do this? Well, it gives me something to aim for. So then I can come and I can aim for this little spot and connect these two. See this? Bam! Straight line. And then one of my favorite things to do is suggest that we have some wrinkles in the pants. So I'm going to go up, make another little line like this, and then I'm going to come down all the way to here. So I'm making a little dot for myself. I'm moving past this line, another straight line. See that? But bam. All right, now let's cuff off those pants. And then we're going to take this and we're going to carry it out to here. Make a little dot for yourself if you want, all right? Feet are a little bigger than you think they are, so give yourself some room. And then check out this beautiful S-curve. This is a gorgeous one. Are you ready? S-curve coming. Look at that. S down to there. Now what do you suppose we have to do for the other leg? Well, you guessed it. We're mirroring that. Mirror it. Only we're going to stop there. Okay. Bam. So we come around and stop. And now we have to do that foot, so I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna start right around here, come out to about there, and then here comes that S-curve, like that. Okay, beautiful. Now for the buttons. One, two, three, three little buttons. Now what is this person doing? Well, if you saw yesterday's drawing, you know that we are jumping in a pile of leaves. And how do we make a pile of leaves? Well, just like yesterday, I'll show you. It's a curve, a curve and a straight, a curve and a straight, a curve and a straight. You just throw these around all over the place, okay? Different directions, different angles, here and there, okay? And as you get closer to the person, you can do this. You can do a curve, and a curve and leave some room for the stem. See that? So these leaves are like flying up in the air. Curve, you can do this way, okay? And along the edges, you can do little one, two, one, two, straight and a curve, curve and a straight, connect a few more. See how we do this? And on and on. Sometimes make them a little one, two, a twofer, right? Look at that. And that's what you do. You get to the bottom, you do a couple of little lines like this. Okay. Just to sort of ground everything, right? Maybe you have a stray leaf here and there, right? You want to throw some more up in the, uh, into the air, go ahead. Some more action, that's fun, right? And then you can do this, action line. So we know this person is jumping up into those leaves and boy, are they happy. What a fun thing that is to do, right? That is a good time, check it out. Hey, some fun facts about leaves. Did you all know that the fall leaves, those orange and yellow and golden colors are actually in the leaves year round? Isn't that interesting? You just don't see them. But when the summer sun starts to fade, what happens is the chlorophyll starts to leave and that's what causes that green color and that green color starts to disappear and so those other colors become exposed. And that's when we see those beautiful fall leaf colors. Isn't that neato? It's a cool thing to know about the fall leaves. All right, so I want you all to please um, tell me how your drawings are going. Let's see, how are your drawings going? How are your drawings going? Clever says, there's a nervous dog hiding in the leaves the kid is falling into. Oh my goodness. Um, well, I feel sorry for that dog. Poor dog, poor dog. Ah, uh, my goodness. Oh, hey gang. You know what that sound means. That is the appreciation station alarm. Oh my goodness. Uh, well, here we go. Now, for today, we are appreciating Clever. I was just talking to Clever a moment ago. Isn't that amazing? Yeah, Clever, uh, do you remember when we joined that Olympic swim team and forgot our bathing suits at the hotel? That was so embarrassing, but we still had to go to the race and we swam in our sweatpants and our t-shirts and we still got a silver medal. That was incredible, right? Now, even though it took us three hours for the clothes to dry off and we were pretty chilly and that was a little miserable, I'll never forget having a medal from the Olympics with my pal Clever 
And um, boy, I'm glad we have that memory together. So appreciating you today and thank you for watching the show. We really appreciate it. So now getting back to our drawing, okay? We are gonna do something fun today because of fall. And this is called Leaves of Love. So let me show you what this is. Now, I've got some leaves here. Now, how did I make these? I want, I want to tell you how to make these at home, okay? What you do is, I'll hide this for a moment so you can see the process. Get yourselves some watercolor paint or some acrylic paint or some any kind of paint that you can mix with water, right? Now, you could also do this with crayon if you like or colored pencil. Paint seems to be the easiest way to work on this and I'll show you how it works, okay? What you do is you're gonna put down Nice and randomly, just a big pile of very wet paint, okay? Wet, 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 wet paint. Now, while that paint is still wet, you're gonna grab another color. So I like to go from red to yellow. And then while that paint is still wet, I start coming in with the yellow and you get that nice orange in between like so, all right? And then you're gonna just wait for that to dry and get yourself a pencil. Let me show you these nice shapes you can make for leaves. Now. One of them is sort of a maple leaf, and all you have to do is think about a triangle, okay, which has a couple of extra triangles coming off the side. So check this out. It's kind of like a triangle, and another triangle is just coming off the side and then down to the middle. And the other side is the same, okay? Is it a little triangle and up. Now, to make it fancy, what you do is you give it some sort of jaggedy edges, okay? Like that. Here and there, a little jaggedy edge, kind of curve it around the bottom, Jaggedy edge, okay? Jaggedy, 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 jaggedy. Right, and that gives you a nicer sort of a leaf shape. Jaggedy, jaggedy, you get the idea. Okay, now what do you do with these? All right, so once you've got these leaves drawn on here, you just take a pair of scissors and you cut them out, okay? And you're gonna get this nice leaf shape. And of course, don't forget, you're gonna have to have a stem, right? So don't forget that stem. All right, so let's imagine you've gone ahead and you've made your leaves. And here are two options for you. You got this nice round one here and you got the other one. And then what you do is, let me just grab my little felt tip pen here. Get yourself a nice dark color, wait for everything to dry. And when you make these, don't make them too dark with the paint. You know, do a really light wash. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna draw like this. You're gonna come up from the stem and draw a line straight on up to the tippy top. Alrighty. Then you're gonna do another one coming out this way. Check it out. I'm gonna go this way out towards that end. And then on the other side, just give a little space and go do the same thing. And then again, this away and that away, okay? And one more time, like so. And you know what you do next, folks? This is the nice part. Write down the names of people that you love on each of these lines, okay? So you might write down your mom and your dad, maybe your best friend, Maybe your hamster, right? Is my brother, Colin. And what you do is you write those down and then you got a nice little fall uh, decoration for yourselves. You put a little frame around it or something like that. Maybe give it to somebody who you love or a family member or a friend. And that's Leaves of Love, really easy to make. And that's a fun little project. And it's a nice way to show somebody you're thinking about them. And hey, what could be better than that, right? Now, it is time for the animal and activity. You need to suggest for me an animal doing something strange, funny, weird in the chat, and I will draw that for you in the time that we have remaining. So let's see how we go. All right, folks? All righty. Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. I'm gonna be looking in the chat for your suggestions for an animal and activity. Now, yesterday, we did a giraffe sledding down a hill. How about that? Pretty fun stuff. Today, who knows what we're gonna have? It's gonna be something different. It's always something different. It's always something exciting. And it's always something interesting, I can tell you, from experience. You guys are full of creative and funny ideas. And sometimes I'm a little limited by what I can draw. If you suggest an animal that I don't know how to draw, then I can still say, hey, great idea. I'm afraid I don't know how to draw that. And then I can apologize profusely. Okie dokie. So we have a pink flamingo. Doing what, Richard? What is the flamingo doing? What is the flamingo doing? Give me an activity for that flamingo Is he Doing the hula hoop, what's he doing? An evil duck scheming. A porcupine jumping on a balloon. Oof, that balloon is in big trouble. A hippo hitting a home run. Oh, I like that, hard carrot, nice one. A frog drawing or painting at an easel. Yes, let's do it. Frog, here we go, frog. We are gonna have a fancy art frog. So, let's get that frog here. Ba -ba -bum, ba -bum, ba -bum. 
Oh, he's going to be so proud of himself. Look at him, he's going to have his fancy coat on. And he's going to have his little palette here that he's holding. His little frog hand. All right, we'll see the, th the finger coming through. Okay, little tie. This is a very formal looking painterly frog here. Make him a little smaller so I got space on the page for his nice long frog legs. Okay, over here. Got his colors right there. I feel like I want to make his arms just a tad skinnier. That's more froggy. You know what I mean? Alrighty, now I'm going to get that. Uh, Brush on the canvas. Okay. And there is our froggy painting. Let's reduce the uh, opacity there, knock that back a little bit, come on top of that, and use a darker color. And let's see what we can do. All right, froggy, you ready? Excellent. Give a nice dark tie there. I like that. A little bit of contrast, you know? Why not? And we'll come over here with that arm. And then underneath, we've got to put that palette there. It's going to have his thumb, little frog thumb. Wrapping around it there, and have the finger poking through. Got some colors sort of splashed on there. And his fancy collar. Alrighty. And now there's this arm. Poking out there behind that uh, easel. And there's that brush. Wonder what he's painting, folks. What do you think? Some kind of pastoral scene. Hmm? Hmm? What do you think? Who knows? Could be anything. Could be nothing. Alrighty. Froggy, froggy. Happy Frog painting a lovely scene out here. And boy, he's impressed with himself, right? Maybe you've got like a, whoops, some hills there in the background. Maybe there's a little tree living out here. Next to a little bush. Huh? What do you think, gang? How's that work for you all? I think that works for me. And uh, what did I miss? Anything? Maybe we just put a little shape here on the canvas so we know that he's up to something. Oh, look, I forgot those fingers. <laughs> no worries. Time to add them in. 
All right, let's hide that sketch and uh, see what we think. Ta-da! Hey, happy frog. Painting a lovely scene. Works for me, folks. Works for me. I'm happy with that. Okay. Now, it is time for everybody to have a lovely weekend. I know it's still two days away, but just be thinking about lovely things like the weekend now. And I think that's a great thing to do. So, I'm going to be doing the same. And um, I'm taking tomorrow off. No masterclass tomorrow. Masterclass uh, will be back after Thanksgiving. And I hope all of you have a safe and happy weekend. Take care of yourselves. Take care of each other. And remember to please be kind. I'll see you next time. Ciao for now.